Good morning, Modern Steaders. We got our first snow last night. I'll take you outside to show you that in a minute. But let's get our fire going first. We'll use a nice match this morning. We won't use a torch to get the fire going. Now that we got that going, let's go outside and show you all the snow. It's not a lot, but we got enough and it's cold. It's not gonna warm up today. It's actually been dropping in temperature. When I got up at 4.30 this morning, it was 30 degrees out and now it's 20 degrees out. So that snow is gonna be here tomorrow when we're harvesting the chickens. It's gonna be a cold day for that. Speaking of harvesting, we need to get into this crate and get this set up for tomorrow. Let's see what's in there. This cold weather we're having right now is another big reason I wanted to have the chickens all harvested by now. I knew that the weather was going to be changing. It's November here in northern New Hampshire. You don't get into many nice weekends like we had last weekend. So when I'm freezing tomorrow, I'll be remembering about that yard bird chicken pot. Yardbird is sending up a new chicken plucker to replace the old one. We've had a lot of people asking about that. They are standing behind the product and they're sending up a new one. But I've also had in the comments somebody commented and said they're on their third Yardbird chicken plucker. Their other ones have had the same thing happen to them that we did. They're like we always get a new one. But still, that's kind of a pain if you're in the middle of harvesting and it quits on you for no reason and you're not working it hard. I don't like it. I don't know how often that happens to their products. Their customer service was great, I will say that. favorite bags. This brown paper makes an awesome fire starter. Alright, let's get this out of the crate. This is Coops and Moore's large chicken plucker. It does two chickens at a time. Or a turkey. This is the perfect size for our homestead. Let's check it out. So we got an all stainless steel tub with natural plastic fingers. Outside is all stainless steel. It has four tires on it, hard plastic, where the yard bird has two. The feathers are gonna come out down here. So we'll put one of our black plastic trays on the bottom to catch the feathers. We'll be using our hose to rinse it out like we did with the yard bird. Let's check out the motor. We can see it better now. We've got the main shaft that comes up, spins the bottom drum. 
I have a nice big electric motor with two pulleys. We got four casters, two wheels that swivel, and two that are fixed, hard plastic. The Wright's Farm Chicken Plucker has a two horsepower industrial grade electric motor with a pulley. And we have industrial bearings holding the shaft, and that's going to be why it's running so smooth. The frame is steel, but the outside is all stainless steel. On the Yardbird, the only thing that was stainless steel was the drum. We have it plugged in. Let's turn it on and see how it works. Sounds nice and smooth. You can feel the air blowing right out of here. That's gonna be nice with the feathers. It's nice and quiet. No vibration, it's balanced out nicely. I'm looking forward to trying out the chicken plucker tomorrow. It sounds nice, seems to run smooth, it seems to have plenty of power. The price of the plucker is $3.99. If you go to the Coops and More website and enter the promo code LUMNA, you'll receive 10% off before shipping. So that puts the price at $3.60, and shipping on it is $81. So you're gonna be paying $4.40. That's what we paid for the Yardbird this spring. On Amazon, I think the Yardbird goes from $4.20 to $4.40 with free shipping. Tractor Supply sells them, I think, for 500 Since we've had the yard where we've been able to use that before it broke, we'll have something to compare the new plucker to. I'm excited for that. This is going to be fun tomorrow. I love comparing items and seeing which one works better and which one doesn't. And pointers saying, oh, I like this on this one, or I like that on that one. I was hoping the weather was going to stay warm so I could just leave the hose out. But it got cold and snowed, so now i got to bring the hose in the house for tonight. Otherwise, it won't be working tomorrow. Here's the tote we can use. Here's the tote we'll be using tomorrow to collect our feathers. It's going to add some more challenges. All the hoses in the basement to dry out. <clears throat> Here's the yard bird. One thing I was just thinking about the yard bird on and off switch is way down here in the bottom, which is a huge pain, especially when you have two people or you have the water going. You're down there trying to shut off the machine and you're getting soaking wet. Glad I don't have to do that this weekend in the freezing weather. Last weekend when it was 40, that was bad enough. I want to show you the motor on the Yardbird. It's a direct drive right to the drum. It's a one and a half horse motor. The drum in here looks a little smaller than the Wright's Farm. The on off switch is right here on the side of the plucker. That's going to be a lot better than having to bend over underneath of the Yardbird. This way when Gina's got the hose, I'm not getting soaked. You know what else this means? We gotta get ready for winter. At least I know the plow works. We gotta move it up. 
out to the upper driveway. It's a lot easier up here for me to get onto it with the truck and keep it down back. There's here. One thing I need to do is need to loop my pin. If those don't move freely, it's a pain. I'm using fluid film, which is a lanolin oil. So it comes from sheep's wool. And it smells like sheep. Yep. The nice part about fluid film is it stays fluid. It doesn't dry out. and it'll stay tacky and wet for a while. That'll work good for the pins. One more little project knocked off the list. At least I know the plow's still working. It's not much worse than coming out when it's say 20 below zero and you get to put your plow on your truck and it doesn't work or it doesn't want to go on. That's not any fun. Let's see if we can catch Andy. He's out and he looks a little cold.
It's cold out right now, but it's gonna be even colder in the morning. I'd rather make sure the chickens are all boxed up tonight. They gotta stay warm in here. There's 25 of them in a small little box. The body heat will keep them warm. I'm gonna cover them with the tarp. That'll keep the wind off. It's gonna be warmer in here than it was the chicken tractor they were in. I'm as ready as I'm going to be for harvesting these meat birds tomorrow morning. I think we get everything set up that we can. We can't get the plucker out or the scalder outside with water. It's going to freeze tonight if we did that. So tomorrow I'll have to boil up some water, give it the scalder. That way it'll get up to temperature faster because it's so cold out. I want to make sure I'm bada boom bada bing. Get everything done. I want to be the outside as little as possible. I want to be in the indoor kitchen as much as I can. So we're going to be going back back and forth. I think that'll work out. Gina's going Christmas shopping tomorrow. Olivia's still not feeling good so she's most likely going to be hanging low in the house which is fine. It's perfect weather for that. I'll have the wood stove in the house going, keeping her warm. Hope you enjoyed today's video. We look forward to seeing you back here tomorrow at Lumen Acres. A guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom.